Hello, all my Taurus Gemini Cuspers. How are you guys? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, welcome to something new that we're doing um, that uh, it was very high in demand by you all, the viewers. And these are readings for the Cuspers out there, yeah? Um, this is something brand new. I've never done this before on my channel. I'm really excited about it. I don't even really think there are many readers out there that do cusp readings, but hey, that's cool. Um, so please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So this is kind of dated for March here for like the month of March, but it doesn't really absolutely have to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, um, and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Also keep in mind that uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So this is gonna be a little bit different than my normal readings. So if you're new to the channel, then don't worry about it. This is brand new, so it's all good. But if you are an OG um, uh, and you watched the, Mar the March readings, like the first round of March readings that I did, the structure is going to be a little bit similar. However, I'm just taking the love aspect out of it. So we're just looking at general messages for you guys, for my cuspers, for this time period of March 2020 and or beyond. Like whenever this resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that time, okay? Um, and depending on, you know, how popular this is, how much you guys really like this and whatnot, whatever, how much this is helpful for you, then I may expand and like potentially go into love for you guys. But right now, we're just going to look at the general energies for you. Um... And I think that's all I want to say so far. All right, so let's just get to it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, actually, no, this is what, sorry, guys. This is one thing I want to say. So this is for the Aries, I'm sorry, the Taurus Gemini's cus, Gemini Cuspers, which would fall between the 17th and the 23rd. Yes, the 17th and the 23rd of May. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's see what we've got here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all the Taurus and Gemini cuspers. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, Spirit is saying three shuffles, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start here with the Energy Oracle deck, and I just want to see what's in your storyline. What is going on for you guys right now? My Taurus Gemini Cuspers. What have we got for you? Last shuffle. All right, let's go. Taurus Gemini, let's see what we've got for you guys. Okay. So definitely, it's interesting because I just did the Aries Taurus cusp and they got woman holding a heart. Taurus Gemini, not a heart, a coin. Taurus Gemini, you got man holding a coin. That's really interesting. Okay. Well, well, well. Let me get, I want to get a little bit more here for you. Taurus Gemini cuspers. What's going on for my Taurus Gemini cuspers? A little bit more, please, spirit. Taurus, Gemini, Cusper. The interesting. Okay. Okay, guys. Overall energy. Whoa. I don't want to say this yet. Because this is exactly where I felt this going. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I want to look a little deeper before I get into that. Okay. Well, first of all. Um, you guys, uh, Taurus, Gemini, you're kind of mirroring Aries, Taurus cusps because you guys got the angel of balance and so did they. And it's interesting because there is definitely an energy of balancing out here. Um, so for man holding a coin here, I really feel like this is speaking to the masculine energy within you. Okay. You could either be a man or an, in, or a woman, um, doesn't matter what your gender is. It's really just about the, uh, the energy that is most dominant within you. And I feel like for whomever this message is for, 
the dominant energy is masculine energy, or at least that's where you've been living from for a while. That's where you've been focused in for a while. You may have really been um, focused on your finances, uh, building a business for yourself, if that's what you do, or just building up your own finances, or just being very materially oriented, okay? Um, kind of lacking in that feminine perspective, or maybe just renouncing it, not trying to get into it, not trying to like feel around with it, not trying to fuck with it, whatnot, whatever. But then right next to that, you have the second chakra with Archangel Ariel. The second chakra is your sacral chakra, which is like the, where you find your feeling body. And when I saw this next to man holding a coin, I was like, well, that's interesting. It looks like somebody is, is like starting to get into their feeling body. It looks like somebody is starting to, I guess for some of you, you have no choice but to start exploring your emotions because your life is just flowing that way. And you have, you have emotions that are coming up that you need to deal with, or you have situations in your life that are showing up in which are, are generating some strong emotion. And either way, you've got to deal with it. Okay, there is, so what I'm seeing here, because right next to the second chakra, or yes, you have the queen, was, is it? The goddess of the moon here. Now the moon represents feminine energy um, and intuition. So I really feel like for my Taurus, Gemini, Taurus, Taurus, Gemini cuspers, you guys are, whomever this message is for, you guys are in an energy of, balancing out your masculine and feminine energy where you are, whereas you were mostly in your masculine energy in the past and now you're starting ah, i keep hearing you're getting forced like you have no choice like it's unavoidable at this point but you're having to balance out your feminine side you're having to dive into the realm of emotion okay now moving forward we have community the seventh chakra with Archangel Uriel and the angel of balance. I feel like, and if you're a feminine energy that's, that's watching this, then this is probably a mask. Who I'm speaking of is a masculine energy that you are probably directly, directly connected to, possibly even romantically connected to, okay? But there is higher wisdom coming into play here. With this community card, I see this as a three of cups energy a lot, and I'm seeing this as toxic uh, social environments. There might have been, especially for someone that is uh, either a heterosexual male or someone that is more masculinely dominant in their energy and their expression, I feel like you are someone that has been dealing with a lot of low vibrational feminine energies or low vibrational situations in terms of women or feminine energies. But now, with, this, uh, with your, your crown chakra or your seventh chakra opening up along with your second or sacral chakra, there's higher wisdom that's coming into play that's allowing you to revamp or rethink this, these energetic ties or these karmic partnerships that you've been dealing with. And thus, greater balance is coming into your life here with the angel of balance. Oh, so, what was at the bottom of the deck, you say? None other than man holding a heart. So, whereas at one point you were Scrooge McDuck, maybe, or just this like cold-hearted, money-grubbing, materially-oriented individual, now you're kind of being forced into having a little bit of a heart, having compassion, Especially if you're the type of energy with this King of Pentacles here that was kind of fuckboyish in this community section, sector, section, whatever. Now it's like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm starting to have a heart. Like, I'm starting to actually care. Oh, shit, what does this mean for me? That's what I'm hearing. It's your feminine side is coming through and speaking to you and allowing you to open up re and reshape and rebalance your life. Okay. This is a good thing. I know there are some of you that are in resistance to this and like, nah, man, this, nah, man, nah. But ultimately this is a good thing because quite frankly, this energy here is not healthy. It's putrid. It's toxic. It's gross. But you're starting to learn that you're starting to recognize that you're starting to understand just how 
negatively, it might be even affecting you, your life, or your, even your energetic field. And some of you are coming into this place where it's like, I'm aware that I have an energetic field. Like, what the fuck is happening to me right now? You're awakening, my friend. <laughs> okay? So with all of these angels here for you, I want to look into the angel oracle deck here, and I want to see what guidance they have for you here, what oracle messages they have for you. And then I want to dive into some of the tarot, and I want to start looking at um, community. All right, but what messages do the angels have for my Taurus Gemini cuspers? Harmony and success. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have source of life. So what's going on for you guys right now is you are, or at least the angels are trying to help you tap into um, better situations to sustain and maintain your life force. Because with this energy here, this community energy, it's toxic. And it really does feel like the people that were around you Especially if you were like a, a, a big, like a bankroller, <laughs> you know, someone that was balling and had it like that, had all kinds of money and fame and status or whatnot. And that was just attracting low vibrational people to you like, like fucking flies. Um, it was draining your life force energy, especially if you're having sex with multiple partners, multiple different partners. That is going, especially if you're a man, that's going to just drain your life force constantly right and so this alignment that's coming in for you here that's happening for you it's helping you maintain and sustain your life force and then you have harmony and success okay so the angels are here with helping you try to balance out your second chakra with this wisdom that's coming through from your seventh chakra and with this angel of balance here they're helping you bring greater harmony into your life, which ultimately is going to lead you towards more success. And to be quite honest, guys, that success could really be financial. You could have greater financial success here. Man holding a coin. Don't mind her. That's, that's Chloe. Man holding a coin. If you change the community section that you, the, the community that you have around you, if they're no longer draining your life force, Right? Okay, let's get into the tarot here. And I want to look at this community. That's really the most pressing thing that I want to look at right now. This community energy for you guys. Hold on. I'm going to uh, get this a few more shuffles here. One more. All right. I'm staying with my friend Chloe here in Puerto Rico, so that's why she's running around living her life. So there's that. Okay. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation in Puerto Rico. Hey, don't you love it? Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> let's look at this community energy here. All right. What is this community energy for my Taurus? Ooh. For my Taurus Gemini cuspers. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Overall energy is the Page of Swords. But you have death with the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and none other than the Eight of Cups. So you guys are definitely walking away from something. And what I feel like here is you're walking towards, uh, I'm hearing greater emotional stability. You're also walking towards more of what your inner child has to offer you here six of cups or something reminiscent of the past and what i feel like that is is just something that made you that something that filled you with joy from your past i really feel like there was for you whomever this is for there was an energy with this man holding a coin that you became so or this person became so wrapped up in the material aspect of things they really truly forgot what it was to enjoy life six of cups they really truly forgot what it was like to be childlike again full of full of wonder full of excitement an understanding of how the world and the universe works okay 
That's a really interesting energy. And thus, you're walking away from all that no longer serves you. Now, with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I kind of feel like, yeah, especially because we're talking about Taurus, Gemini, Cuspers here. Um, you had that element of being quite fixed with that Taurus element. And Gemini being a mutable energy, um, that would give way to the, the, the wishes of the stronger energy, which would be the fixed, which would be the fixed energy, right? So with this Knight of Pentacles, I really get a feeling that you guys were kind of in this situation for a very long time, working through it um, painly, painstakingly, like step by step, lesson by lesson, instant by instant, moment by moment, just taking it all in. And you've finally gotten to the place where you've learned, you've got sufficient enough and knowledge to go through this transformation with death and walk away from the community situation, what, whatever that may be, that no longer serves you. And with this page of swords here, this is where the Gemini energy comes in because I do see the pages as the mutable signs. And so this would be Gemini. I kind of feel like with you guys, with you walking away here, there is an energy of you like being extremely blunt and not even trying to have tact in terms of what you might say to people as you're moving on. Like it literally could be our time is, here is done. Goodbye. And walking away not really trying to give an explanation. And if somebody asks you for an explanation, it's just like straight up matter of fact, straight up matter of fact, because you spent so long, okay, <clears throat> working through this and building up the evidence because the page of swords is also the <clears throat> energy of the seeker, right? The sentry, the spy, the page of swords is often looked at as a person that is like watching you. Okay. But with, with, what you're going through here, Taurus, Gemini, Cusper, the page of swords is you being blunt and honest about all the things that you've learned or the conclusions that you've come to in terms of this energy, in terms of this situation. No if, ands, or buts about it. Okay? Wow. All right, so... With that said, I think I just want to get a closing message for you guys. So I'm going to do that from the Moonology deck here. Closing message for my Taurus Gemini, whoops, Taurus Gemini Cuspers. One last shuffle. All right, here we go. Closing message, please, spirit, for my Taurus, Gemini, Cuspers. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. And how does it reach said resolution, Taurus, Gemini, Cusper? By going through the transformation and leaving whatever doesn't serve you behind. At the bottom of the deck, you have none other than new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. And to be quite honest with you, what I really want to encourage you to do is speak your truth. Be upfront and honest about it. And if people walk away from you or if situations end because of it, great. You don't have to do it yourself, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm being a little, I'm, I'm being a little facetious there, but at the same time, I'm not. What easier way to end a situation that no longer serves you, or at least catalyze the end of a situation that no longer serves you, than speaking your truth about it, being honest about it? Yeah? So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Please don't hesitate to also let me know how this resonated with you guys. If you guys really do like this, then I would be more than happy to try to work and fit it into my schedule for the channel, yeah? I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!